Our birthday wishes are My birthday wish is just to live on. I wish that each birthday can be happy and I could be healthy all the time. But my wish might never come true. I don't even know whether I could live past the age of five. Every year, nine million children die under five, mostly from preventable causes. It's a silent emergency, one that's bigger than any natural disaster the world has ever seen. More than 90% of these deaths happen in developing countries. This number is even greater than the entire population of Hong Kong. Yes, many, many children die from preventable causes every year. Neonatal complication accounts for nearly 40% of all. The rest die from diarrhea, malaria and pneumonia, etc. All these are preventable. However, 3.8 million babies can't even live beyond one month. Premature birth, asphyxia and serious infection cause most of these deaths. If the mother dies during delivery, the chances for their babies to die also increase drastically. Measles kills nearly 200,000 children every year. AIDS, 300,000. Malaria, 700,000. Pneumonia, 1.7 million. In fact, in year 2000, at the largest gathering of world leaders in history, governments committed themselves to the Millennium Development Goals, two of which are to significantly reduce child and maternal mortality rate. However, we are way behind the target. Let us listen with our hearts to the story out of the millions. Have you ever thought why we celebrate birthdays? Being alive is already something worth celebrating for. The root problems for these children are malnutrition, lack of water and sanitation, and shortage of medical resources. Malnutrition is the underlying cause which accounts for one third of these child deaths. Malnourished mothers are more susceptible to illness. Their babies are usually born underweight. Malnutrition can place a child in a vicious cycle. It weakens a child's ability to fight diseases, and when being sick, a child does not eat well or absorb nutrition. This further weakens their bodies and makes them more susceptible to diseases, and possibly death. It was when he was one and a half years old that Faisal needed serious medical treatment. He had diarrhea, didn't want to eat, didn't want to drink. Basically, he was not well. He was not active like other children. Every time there is a flood, dirty water and garbage comes into the house. Faisal often plays in the flood water. I'm sure it contributes to his sickness. 
I had a second child that was also sick all the time. When she was only one, she got dengue fever. I didn't know what to do. When I finally got her to the hospital, she only got three hours of treatment. Later that day, she died. I know now that I brought her to the hospital too late. I'm very afraid that dengue fever will come again, like the epidemic, like the one before that killed my child. To children like Richard, Fissel, and many children around the world, living beyond their next birthdays is already a great challenge. Time is crucial. Malnutrition and diseases are endangering more young children every minute. Children are dying needlessly. We can do something powerful and effective right now. To fight the causes of child mortality is actually simple and economical. First, targeting children under five years old and pregnant mothers in hunger-prone areas, providing food aid, monitoring children's height and weight, providing pre- and postnatal care for mothers, training for midwives and traditional birth attendants, improving access to skilled health professionals and facilities, providing insecticide-treated bed nets and malaria education for children and families in World Vision Project areas. Vaccinating all children, treating diarrhea with oral rehydration solution, which is an inexpensive mix of glucose, salt and water, providing access to clean water by digging and improving wells, and teaching good hygiene practices. Every child has the right to survival and the right to grow healthily. World Vision is working in about a hundred countries, doing everything we can to stop children dying from preventable causes. We urge all nations to care and take actions on this child health crisis. Save children's lives! Give me five! You can play a part! I want child health now. I will sign a declaration to United Nations to make my stand. No more preventable death for children. I will change my Facebook profile picture to support this campaign. I want nutritious food for every child. I will sponsor a child with my friends. I want safe water for all children. I will organize a fundraising event in my school. Happy birthday for all children. I will send e-card to my friends to encourage them to care for the children in need. Save children's lives. Give me five. We can all do something about it. Yeah! Get on the web and find out more about it. Five actions. Get everybody to care and act. Save children's lives. Give me five. What are you waiting for?